Jail diversion dilemma in Atlanta. Concerns growing that the city could soon cut ties with the agency it's partnered with for years. To help people find alternatives to serving jail time, Atlanta News First Patrick Quinn is at the city's new diversion center in downtown Atlanta. Side by side, Mayor Andre Dickens and the executive director of PAD, Policing Alternatives and Diversion Initiative, Moki Macias, at the opening of the new diversion center. Three days later, the city and its founding agency to help those battling homelessness and mental health issues in jail time might be going separate ways. It's both concerning and confusing. Sasha Friedman is a part of the leadership team of PAD, who from January to August received more than 1,300 calls for service from 311, diverting 221 people away from jail to get the help they need. Friedman was among those surprised when Councilmember Alex Wan revealed Wednesday that a long-term contract with PAD is now currently off the table and the city may look elsewhere. The special procurement was because of the opening of the diversion center. Councilmember Wan asked Theo Pace, Mayor Dickens' deputy chief of staff, if the opening of the diversion center inspired this potential change of direction. That kind of changes the potential operating um, approach to all of this. Is that fair to say? Potentially, yes, sir. Friedman said this diversion center should increase PAD's necessity in the city, not erase it. You wouldn't open a hospital and then say we no longer need our EMTs. Earlier this month, the ACLU of Georgia signed this letter urging the city to extend the contract of PAD, what's operated in Atlanta for roughly a decade. On Monday, the mayor said the diversion center will help create a more effective public safety ecosystem. But with a new facility, could the city opt for a new face to help those in crisis? The building itself cannot exist in a vacuum, so I just hope that they aren't going to remove a, a piece of that ecosystem. And PAD leadership tells me they met with the city of Atlanta this afternoon. PAD says they still want to be considered for a long-term contract, but if they don't win this bid, they said at least 14 people will be without a job come January 1st. Now, I did reach out to the city of Atlanta. They said they cannot talk about this because right now we're in a blackout phase of this procurement process. In downtown Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.